right let's come back and solve your 2011 paper in 2011 paper uh, <coughs> let's see the question explain the following nf3 is an exothermic compound whereas uh, ncl3 is not i did the same question in 2010 also please watch that video next fluorine is most reactive of all the four halogens so i did one video where i explained uh, why are halogens more oxidizing properties and why is fluorine more oxidizing than chlorine okay uh, that video explains you the concept but here if you have to write only in terms of fluorine why is it more reactive the keywords which you should remember is see here first keyword it is more electronegative first keyword second it has least or low bond dissociation enthalpy bd bond dissociation enthalpy means required to break i did that video please watch you'll understand the concept i'm writing the keywords only done Second important, third important, high hydration enthalpy. High hydration enthalpy. The last one would be electronegativity is covered. So, when the electronegativity is uh, uh, this in uh, more you know, automatically lower, uh, this in bond dissociation enthalpy, when I see it is only 158 kilojoules per mole, then high hydration enthalpy. You can also write in terms of lower electron affinity attracting power done with these factors we will explain you but i am not explaining it here watch that video you will understand under the heading why is fluorine more react uh, more oxidizing than chlorine i have given you shown you born heber cycle i have shown you gibbs free energy there i have shown you uh, electrode potentials also watch that video you will understand why am i trying to explain this then after this complete the following this reaction i did it in uh, video number 84 and phosphorus preparation of phosphine in the lab preparation of phosphine which which is done under video number 36 and chlorine interhalogen compound which i did it in video number 97 let's come back and start or uh, finish off your 2011 paper with this uh, question what do they give us account for the following acidic strength decreases in the order okay i've done one video where i've explained you the acidic strength boiling point and uh, the reducing character let's come back and see this how to write this answer they've given acidic strength that means release of h plus ions done so let's start the answer like this what are you finding all hydrogens are similar but only difference is phosphorus sulfur and chlorine so oh, what are these elements these are third period elements isn't it so what happens in third period <clears throat> when I have to speak done first comes phosphorus the electronegativity of uh, phosphorus right uh, is uh, lesser than sulfur so lesser than chlorine this is the electronegativity now when the electronegativity is lesser let us write the hydride form of that so pH 3 lesser H2S lesser HCl now what is what is the reason let's see now I said the electronegativity value okay this is En value which En value increasing order so increasing order of En value that means when I have to speak phosphorus is less electronegative compared to chlorine so it is increasing phosphorus electronegativity is less than sulfur sulfur electronegativity is less than chlorine now when I have to speak in terms of acidic nature release of proton now say if electronegativity is very less for phosphorus the bond between these two is weaker if it is electronegative highly electronegative so hold the bond together in this case but here when electronegativity is lesser and the bond holding capacity is weaker when the bond is weaker when the bond is weaker it is easy to release the protons when it is releasing the protons automatically acidic, the acidic strength is high right that let's come back and write so how should you write the answer so i'm erasing this uh, question yes and let me write the answer okay let us write the answer in, in this term because I don't have place I'm using this part of the word what should you write start, start your answer like this first write this phosphorus electronegativity is lesser than sulfur it is lesser than chlorine then in hydrides pH 3 is lesser than H2S is lesser than HCl after writing this write the reason what is the reason as electronegativity difference or electronegativity is less electronegativity of phosphorus is less the pH 3 bond, okay, a pH also you can write bond is weaker compared to what? Compared to HCl. When it is bond is weaker, it is hence 
less acidic it can easily donate h plus proton then it hence less acidic than hcl so this should be the first reason this should be the second reason you'll get full marks for that then so let me erase this and write the second question what do they give me now they've given me <coughs> they've asked me here the tendency or to form p penta highlight decreases down the group they said okay penta highlights of group 15 they said when they say group 15 try to write the elements i'm writing this answer here group 15 elements what are they nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth they say tendency to form penta halides when i go down the group the tendency to show plus 5 oxidation state that is nothing but penta halides what if for example b b i c l 5 penta halide it can be b uh, generally b i x 5 this is not observed the same why does it decrease because p c l 5 NCl5 or all these is observed but here when I go down it is decreasing why simple reason you have to write the keyword in this take this element because they have asked it is decreasing down the group pick up bismuth so what happens in bismuth this is the reason electronic configuration if I have to write xenon 4f14 5d10 6s2 6p3 now what is happening if it can easily donate these three electrons in form bix3 but what happens when it comes to losing these two electrons this s electron shows inert pair effect it will it is reluctant to participate in bonding so what what is happening here bi can form bix3 compounds but due to inert pair effect of s octal due to inert pair you already know what is inert pair effect, isn't it? I have explained for the grade 11 students also. Reluctance of S electron to participate in bonding. So, due to inert pair effect of S electron, it does not form P B I X5 compounds. That's it. This is how you're going to write the answer. So, this inner word, this is important. This is the keyword. Inert pair effect of S electron. That's why if this is not donated, how can it show 5 electrons? See here, 3 plus 2, 5. It can't show, isn't it? So, that is the concept. Done. This question is over. Now, I'm going to complete the following. So, they've given one question. That is your P4SO2Cl2 uh, sulfuryl chloride, not thionyl chloride. I did this in video number 43. Next, iodine. This is the oxidizing property of nitric acid, which I did in video number 23. Please watch the video. Done. When I have to show the hydrolysis of XCF2, just see. Pick up two moles of this. Pick up two moles of this. Simple reaction it is. So, I'm doing the hydrolysis. First, immediately, first bond xc is going to dissociate how many moles here i have taken two moles so two after this your hf is going to form hf how many hfs here so if i have to see this is two two is a four isn't it so four hf what else is left oxygens are two so oxygen gas that's it so these are the reactions of 2011 paper